What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Meadow Grove and welcome back to the Toe Hector Challenge Simulation for the Nation here. I am a genius. If you listen carefully to quote Jeremy Clarkson, you can hear my genius at work because uh, my plan is coming to uh, into play. Ah, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we'll leave that. It's actually going to be a great little solution. It is the 1st of April and we are already mowing first cut silage down, uh, which is great. It means that we can get this field, all this field is uh, mowed, baled, wrapped and stacked in the corner. We can leave it out of the way. Uh, and then we can cultivate it over, probably with a plow, I think. If not, we'll have to worry, uh, figure out what that's going to look like. Get it all uh, cultivated. Uh, and then bale, and then we can begin to establish our root crops as well. So we're multi-cropping these fields without doing any cereal crops in there, which is the key thing. So... Uh, it's going to be really good. What we're going to do is just finish off mowing this. The new, uh, the, the big tractor has been leased in and it's here. So we have something that we can use to do a lot of the heavy lifting. Uh, we also have our new Taurus Vulture and also this uh, Kraken John Deere here. Uh, and I am sorely, sorely tempted to buy the tractor that we have. But we'll we'll cross that bridge soon. What we're going to do right now though is just finish mowing this down. You'll see we've already got the bit done over there. Uh, we've left in between the trees obviously. And we're just going to get this all wrapped up. And then we haven't got a baler yet, so we do need to go and pick up a baler. Last time around, we leased the McHale a Fusion, uh, which is great and everything, but it doesn't do one and a half or 1.25 meter bales. So we could go for something a little bit bigger to do 1.5 meter bales. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I quite like the McHale. Uh, but we, we can get going with it at least. That's the main thing. So what we'll probably do is um, look to take advantage of this beautiful weather. We have, like I say, nice and early doors. Uh, with all we bought a few bits of equipment as well that we needed uh, so we're we're still sitting pretty Got a lot of money in the bag there still which is great and I'm getting itchy fingers I want to spend it uh, but we'll, we'll try our best to hold off uh, so what we'll do is just kind of get all this little bit here done and dusted and then we can well review the plan uh, go and pick a uh, choose a baler pick up a baler make a decision as well on what we're going to do with the uh, with the machines that we have because good lord do I want to buy our, our lease tractor uh it's the temptation is real but yeah i mean if we did that i'd we'd probably have to get rid of one and i, I quite like the, the two that we have here when we're doing the root crop work are, are perfect and we only really need the big one for the establishment here to be fair i got it now because i thought it'd be nice to have on the baler we don't really need it the voucher can pull the baler as can this john Deere. we proved that last time around so you know it's all all case of nice to have and maybes but we'll see uh but we have gone quite well here and got this field for the most part done uh we've just got this little last bit up here to take care of a little triangle section which is going to probably be a little bit awkward but you know it's good to get it done it's all bales as well so we did very well off the silage bales that we made here and that we sold into the bga so we'll be looking to do that again and it's just a really nice reliable and slow drip feed uh, uh income which is exactly what we want so um that's going to do us really really well and i'm hoping that we can really boost us on at the end of this year when we get to episode number 12 which i do believe is going to be in about four or five episodes time if memory serves uh we want to be in the position that we can look back on this and say hey you know what that worked really well and we are sustainable i want to try and pay down our debt as much as we can so we might look just to use a chunk of this money to do so because we're at 300k now and if we can get really down close to that uh, 250 mark or lower then you know we are laughing and we're proving inside a year there really that we can really pay off our debts and increase our equipment and our, our operation but really take control of everything just off of two acres as well so that's really really cool so uh that will be part of the plan but yeah we're gonna keep going it is boxing day as this is recorded so i hope you all had a very happy merry christmas and you're enjoying time with the family and uh yeah it's good to uh, to be back on farm sim for a little bit as well and seeing what mischief we can get ourselves into uh dee -dee -dee -dee, but we'll keep creeping around here make myself dizzy as we go but we've just got a few little chunks left to, to knock down and then we're done you'll love to see it so yeah like i say quite a lot here we've left the little strips in and around the the trees of course just because that's going to stay as it is now and you know that i don't mind leaving that little bit of a barrier until the, those trees are going to get knocked down when they're knocked down we will plant some more there in the place uh that is all going to just be part of the plan really yeah i think it's working quite well so far good use of the field uh all right we'll get this little chunk done then we'll have a look at the tractor and we've got a decision to make with balers okie dokie then nice and easily done 
Uh, let's take ourselves on around. It's a beautiful morning here. The sun is shining. We've still got the tree operation up there as well. To be honest, we haven't done uh, felled any more wood there to put through. But I'm not too concerned about that for now. We can leave it. One thing I do need to do, however, is get this gate open. You'll see ahead of us, we've got a new trailer. I decided to buy a new trailer for a couple of reasons. One's a bit bigger. Uh, so as we start to cart away from our sugar beet harvester, that will be able to take a little bit more. And secondly, the other trailer, the smaller master, the master can still use it, is up there as well. But the key thing that you'll see here is our new tractor. Look at that. Someone in the comments actually mentioned that we should get a TW35 or 25. And it was already on the cards. Because, I mean, frankly, why wouldn't you? Look at this thing. It's absolutely superb. Really, really do like this. Now, this could easily pull that. It's only leased, so we're not going to keep it around that long. Main reason it's here is for our new rotavator or ridger that we've bought. Uh, that takes quite a lot of power, of which this has many, many powers, many horses. So uh, it will be used on this, and we'll, we may well use it on anything else that we need. I toyed with the idea of getting a five-row plow and trading hours in as well. And there is one actually in our um, store under this sale here. So we could get that one up to two and a half meters, so it would be wider, and it's on quite a healthy discount there as well. However, it is 14 grand at five throws there, so perhaps not. Um, but yeah one of the many options so that's why we've gone for the ford and i think it'll be great for us uh just look at it though absolutely superb now we do need a bailer though and we there's a few different options that we could go for uh, some of which would be would be ideal really um last time around as i mentioned there we did pick up the uh the mikhail and we used that uh, on lease one uh 1.25 meter bales there so the other smaller size ideally it'll be cool to do something uh which is a bit bigger which leads me into well either the pottinger there or the fent or the massey now i'm kind of inclined to go for yeah to go for 140 140 and 150 i'm inclined to go for one of these two and i think i might i think i might go for the fent you know uh let's get some green wrap because why not wrapper is standard and the other option i suppose is with the bale turner i don't have a grab uh so it's gonna have to go that way and then because i'm only on pallet forks here so we'll go for that i suppose and lease i could even afford to buy that you know but i think what we should do to to temper any of my urges to uh to spend money on machinery that i don't really need let's just uh 295 grand there right now let's take that down to 250 and there we go we're at, we're at 57,000 pounds there so we've still got money if we need it uh for anything that comes up we've got from what i can see and think we've got everything we need to establish a crop uh we've got a ridger we've got a plow that we can use and the cultivator as well uh but of course before we get to that we need to get this baler done so uh what i'll probably do is just this can go back into the shed for now. And we'll leave this on here. I am tempted to do one contract from a, uh, a silage standpoint. Uh, we'll see if, if that's going to be an option for us. Uh, now, that could well pull the baler, but that's not very fun. Uh, we're going to go for the big shouty Ford, and we're going to drive that up to the store to pick up the baler. Uh, in theory, we're just going to go straight on in and get it done. And uh, as soon as it's bailed and we get this cleared, we will start with hide worker again and get it um, working through the field. Uh, that is my aim. I'm thinking as well, because we're going to be coming straight in and doing work, I'll probably just st stack those bales there rather than where we had them last time around, which was in the corner here. It's either there or... There's not really much space over there. So yeah, I guess it's in the corner of the yard then. Uh... And we can really get going and see see how many we get. Hoping to get quite a few bells off of here. That would be awesome. But yeah, into the T dub we go. Massive chunk and wheels on here as well. Oh, listen to it. It's got a bit of a bark about it today. You love to hear it. Okay. Uh are things moving here now? Yes, they are. Perfect. Well, all right then. So, uh... Sorry, but just listen to that.
<laughs> oh, superb. All right, well, we're going to pick up our baler. And then uh, we're going to just book it straight on into the field and get going. We're not, we haven't got a rake, so we're just going to see how we get on here. Uh, and then we can take it from there. This is a beautiful tractor. Oh, it's a bouncy one. All right, job done. We're back. And it's straight on into the field. This is actually quite a nice little tandem. I think it's going to look quite good and work quite well for us. So uh, we'll get ourselves in there and see see how we get going. Um, but yeah, ultimately, if I can get... I think. I think we ended up like 15 16 bales last time around something around that so if i can get close to 30 uh that might be wishful thinking um but yeah if i could do that that would be pretty darn awesome Ooh, around you go just listen to it it's unnecessarily loud and i love it uh we're gonna have to unfold this as well i'd assume and uh, we're going to start in this little section over here. Uh, unfold. Oh, let's turn on. There you go. Looks pretty mean, doesn't it? I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> okay, lower that down. Oh, what we need to do before we go any further, we're going to go for larger bale size, automatic drop turned on, happy days, uh, away we go. Perfect stuff. So we're going to just keep cracking along with this. Uh, we'll see how far we get through and what that looks like. And then, and only then really will we be able to start on with the next project. The key is here to get this turned over into a, a field uh, for root crops as quickly as we can. Whilst also making money by having silage fermenting. Uh, and then being able to be loaded away. Uh, so that's all part of the plan. Uh, and we'll see how we get on. The first few headlands here are all are around the entirety of the field. And then the less... The rest of them are all kind of in their blocks. Uh, so we'll see how we get on there. But ultimately, yeah, we are away to the races. Um, leave your comments down below. If, do you think we should buy this outright? It's about 60 grand to do so. So there'll have to be some machinery shuffles around there. Uh, and also, how many bales do you think we're going to get out of this field in total? Be curious to see what numbers you think of. Uh, and we will crack on and see you in the next episode, I do think. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Just a short little update. I hope you're having a great Christmas and New Year if you are indeed celebrating or just enjoying time with your family. Uh, I have been Simulation for the Nation. I hope you have enjoyed and we will see you all in the next one. Catch you next time.